there are places in the world that are considered thin places. And that's where the spiritual and the physical world get very close. There's very little separating them. This is a thin place. Well, when I first came out here, I didn't know that Texas went 8,000 feet in the air. It's so big, it's just overwhelming at first. Now I can't picture any livable place being anything but that. Marfa definitely has an independent spirit. It's always seemed, at least in kind of folklore about the area, to be a sort of rogue place. I think something that continues to draw people here is this notion of independence being able to make your own vision reality. I was a professional commercial photographer all my life. So I did annual reports and corporate brochures and, and very quickly got really tired of it. I just hated it. I said, enough of this and I'm going to do something else. And then I ended up in Marfa. It kind of redefined for me what an artist community is. Donald Judd was an American artist. He was born in 1928 in Excelsior Springs, Missouri. Judd had initially come out to the West Texas area in the 40s when he was in the Army. It felt like this was the place where he wanted to live and to work, and so he moved here in the early 70s. In Judd's work, space is very important. He really felt like these objects related not only to the other objects in the room, but also to the architecture and to the landscape outside. So in that way, there is a site-specific quality. And that's something that's quite counter to general museum practice. It's not a sterile environment. It's very much still a living environment that has a unity to it. Throughout the year, we have lots of artists and architects coming through Marfa to see the spaces. And sometimes those people stay. For artists who move here, it's not that they're trying to recreate Donald Judd's work or even work within his particular aesthetic. But I think Judd's work sets a standard for behavior as an artist that sort of ability to have solitude in nature and also to kind of chart your own course. Here, you get to really make your own rules for how you want to live. They still cowboy the old way out here. You still drag him calves up with a horse. You don't fence a whole lot of your property because it's just too big. You use the mountains and the valleys and the terrain. I can go down to that ranch and I can see 100 miles into Mexico. For me, the landscape out here, it's large, it's vast, it's open. You are pretty exposed. And I think that that kind of openness also relates to how you behave as a person. When I first arrived here, I knew nothing, of course. I had started to photograph the landscape and quite Unknown to me were the trespassing laws of Texas. I was shooting and a truck went by and then quickly reversed back up and this guy got out. He said, well, you can't do this unless you get permission. And I said, well, who should I get permission? He said, well, you can start with me. So I sent him some pictures after that. And from that blossomed a relationship and I ended up getting invited out to do some branding. And now we spend Thanksgiving together. And that's great. Five years ago, when I first opened this bar, it was like a standoff. It was like in high school, these three crowds just all in different spots. You got the local guys, and they've been here for three or four or five generations. Then you've got the cowboys, and you've got cowboys that come from Montana, Wyoming, all over Texas. And then you get the art crowd comes in, and then all three of them are in your saloon at the same night. And it's just entertaining as hell to watch. I wanted a place where everybody felt comfortable. 
But it seems like it all got worked out here in this bar. Most of the people I can think of didn't come here because they were looking for this. They came here because they were just looking for something. And lo and behold, look what they found. I live in a trailer park in West Texas. Every time I say that, I can see my mother just rolling in her grave. But uh, I've never felt more at home in a place than I feel here.